This is a FLIR MR176 thermal imaging moisture detector thing that costs $1,100. And I just picked this thing up on eBay for $100 because it's broken. Let's see if we can get this thing to work. Now, according to the eBay listing, it had a broken port and a terrible image of the port that you couldn't actually see what was broken. As you can see, there is absolutely no charging port left. And there's a rattle to it, so I'm going to assume the charging port is actually still inside it. Let's see if we can get this thing apart and, well, repair it in this video. As you can see, it unfortunately does not turn on. I'm hoping that's because the battery is dead. But if it's not, that'll also kind of suck. Now, so we don't damage it, I'm going to remove this little moisture detector probe right here. If this thing is good, these things are $100. If it's not good, it's $100. But if it is good, you know, technically, the unit paid for itself with that. Now, to disassemble it, here's where things get a little bit interesting. As you can see, there's no obvious ways to disassemble it except for these four little rubber plugs. I believe if we remove all four of those, there should be a screw under each of those according to a YouTube video I saw of a previous model of this. Now, I managed to get one of the plugs out, though it did not survive. Personally, I'd describe these more of silicon than rubber. They're very, very mushy and very sticky. They're, uh, I think glued in place probably with silicon and maybe are just silicon. I'm not sure. But one out, three to go. Okay, I'm not sure what the first plug's problem was, but the rest of them just pulled out extremely easily. So I don't know if this one was just somebody already pulled out and I they re-glued it in, or I don't know what's going on. But those three came out without really any issues whatsoever, so I have no idea. Now with all four screws removed, this should separate. Now there should be ribbon cables attaching the two halves, so I can't separate it very far. But, here we go. We are in. Now, I'm going to have to use two hands to take this apart and very gently disconnect those ribbon cables, because if I break one, I am completely screwed. And there we go, I've gone ahead and separated the unit. As you can see, we have our battery pack down here, we have a circuit board down here, I believe that is a moisture detector on the back of the unit here. And then we have a thermal camera and our antenna cable, not antenna, but uh, moisture detector uh, sensor cable there. Very cool. And of course, the main PCB. I'm assuming the software is stored on that micro SD card, that's... Uh, a thing. I don't particularly like that, but it is. But, yep, a rattle still on this half, as the charging port is actually uh, on that half there. So it looks like we just need to pull out this circuit board and we can find that broken off port. With those screws removed, can we lift this circuit board out gently? It looks like we're stuck around this port. Do I have to pull up and then out? Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. We are free. And right there is our damage. It looks like, actually, we might have gotten very lucky and all the pads actually might still be there. That would be incredibly lucky. Let's dump that out. Not that, but that. And uh, we can see our micro USB port. As you can see, that broke fairly cleanly off. That's, uh, well, there's not much mounting that on, actually. There's just the pins and I guess two very small things there. Somebody must have just jammed the charger port in. And uh, very much just smash that right off. But as you can see, I think we're in business. That looks perfect. And if not, it looks like we can very easily get to where those pads go. So this should be a very simple replacement. I just realized something. This port is slightly melted at the back. And those, port, those posts there for the Ethernet port are also melted. Somebody's tried to repair this. That's not something I like. That means they could have very easily damaged something else. That sucks. Also explains why one thing was glued in and none of those other po little rubber things were. Somebody's been in here. I very much don't like that. Let's hope they were just bad enough to not get that port on, but not bad enough to break everything else. Ah, that sucks. I hate it when people work on stuff before me. Obviously, you know, everyone wants to work on their own stuff. It makes sense. I don't, yeah, I get it. That's what I did. But you can also very easily damage other things. And then when you don't mention that you already tried to repair it on the eBay listing, it kind of sucks. Now what we're going to do is we have our new USB port right here, and we're just going to tin this port using our pine saw. Just, you know, put some solder on these pads so it goes on a little bit easier onto the circuit board. Now I'm going to be specifically using leaded solder for this because, well, it's simply easier and works better. It is also stronger than most lead-free solder, so hopefully it won't break off in the future. Now I've gone ahead and put the port in place, and what we're going to do is we're going to use some flux and the hot air gun to put our new port into place. Now I'm going to use a fine tip on the pine sole, and I'm just going to touch up those pads because they didn't go very well. I believe they're attached, but I want to make sure. So... That's where this comes in. And there we go. The port is on. I checked all the pins are solid. So let's get this thing back in the well unit and see if it'll turn on. Holy shit, that lines up perfectly. I literally just used a random port that I had laying around. That's like not a specific one for this thing. So I cannot believe how well that lines up. 
That is amazing. Moment of truth plugged in. Why aren't we turning on? Uh, that sucks. Doesn't even look like we have any charging light or anything. The power button doesn't appear to be doing anything. We are, in fact, not waking up. We're not plugged in. Never fucking mind. Moment of truth. You're plugged in now. Well, we are officially plugged in now, and we're still not turning on. Come on. Yes! Holy shit, we're on! Okay, so it took a little bit, but we are now on. I'm gonna have to go through the setup process, and we can see if this thing will work. There we go! It works! We just got an $1,100 moisture meter. This is incredible. Look at that. You can see the soldering iron's very hot. Well, actually, it's not all that hot anymore, but... Hell yeah, this is awesome! And look at that, even the laser pointer on the back of the unit works. That's awesome. So, we got what appears to be a fully functional moisture detector. As you can see here, the wireless moisture pad on the back is working. That's awesome. Now, the only issue is, I don't know what half this shit means. And with that, I'd say we managed to fix this thing. As you can see, the uh, cold spot on my soda machine is the little spot you get your sodas out. Very cool. But, we just fixed an $1,100 moisture detector. Now, what I'm going to do with this thing... I have absolutely no idea. I'll probably end up maybe using it to find all the leaks in my garage and then I'll sell it. And there we have it. We have a fully functional flare moisture detector. That is absolutely awesome. As you can see, I took a, ended up taking a plastic spudger to the uh, rubber and it ended up getting rid of that weird white haze that it had and now it's back to the original color. So with that, I'm going to leave it. That looks absolutely awesome. We got an incredible deal on this thing and we're able to fix it incredibly quickly. So. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, and maybe I'll do some more stuff like this in the future.